Howdy neighbor, Stephen Catherine here. Hey, I feel like I need a little cardigan sweater or maybe be changing my shoes or whatnot to uh, talk about this next neighborly story of the uh, haunted investment stories from hell. Story number seven, that's that many, Nightmare on Saguaro Street. So this property was a buy and hold and I uh, actually lived in it for a short period of time. And what I loved about this house was that it was in a cute little neighborhood with no HOA. And we all have HOA nightmare stories. That could be our next series. And um, so I loved it. There were kids running around. It was cute. Everybody kept up their yards. It was wonderful. Except for we happened to live next door to a neighbor, an elderly person who didn't have family and had nothing better to do than to walk around the neighborhood and report everybody to the city that their yards or houses weren't the way that she deemed should be fit. Anyway, so we um, had neighbors that were in behind us that loved to feed my uh, lab treats. And so my dog Cora would stretch her little body and get her little paws up on top of the fence and peek her little nose over and they would throw over little treats for her. Well, the neighbor next door did not like that at all. And so she'd come marching over, tell your dog to stop looking in my backyard. So I went to my dog, Cora, stop looking in the backyard. She didn't stop. She didn't care. She liked the treats from the people behind us. So needless to say, Cora couldn't actually see in her yard because it was only her nose that stuck over. So she was so irritated with the uh, my kids playing in the pool and the noise that they made when they were playing in the pool. And she ended up calling the, the city repeatedly that we had too many weeds in our yard. And we actually had a desert landscape, so there were no weeds. So the city would come out and be like, we don't even know what this lady's talking about. Anyways, it became so disruptive that we ended up actually selling the house because it was it was literally a nightmare to live next to this lady. So, hey, the moral of this story is if there were no neighbors, there would be no need for murder. Allow us to show you how to live in a world where the only thing you're going to be killing it at is profits. And we do that by being the bank and we show our investors how to be the bank. It is the most secure position to be in any real estate investment transaction. So if you'd like us to show you how we can add commas to your bank account, give us a call. I'd love to hear what you're up to, what your goals are and how we can match our investments up to your portfolio to add more commas to your bank account. So as always, may, may you never, never awake, awake from, from the American, American dream. dream. Or as Freddy Krueger would say, don't stop dreaming. Night-night, sweetheart. <laughs>